All right, guys, how would you like to save, say, 24, 25 years on your mortgage term? That's what I just did. And in fact, I actually technically paid it off in under six months. And now my mortgage company even owes me money. Would you like to learn how? That's gonna be today's episode. Hey guys, coming at you again. This is your boy, Matthew, president of VIP Financial Education. And this is the VIP Financial Ed YouTube channel where we talk all things banking and borrowing. And yes, that's right. I help you borrow money so you can make a lot more money and you can cash flow stack that against the debt that you borrow. So we're literally turning debt into wealth here on this channel. A lot of different philosophies here being taught and a lot of very exciting results that are happening. And I would love for those results to be yours as well. So I wanna talk a little bit about how we got to where we are today. We've just literally been following everything you see us teaching here on this channel. And by and large, it has to do with stuff like this. That's right, guys, take a look at this check. $15,000 check here, $15,060. I believe I know what this is since I kind of half opened it here and took a peek. And yes, indeed, I recognize those envelopes. Another check for $6,506. Just between these two, we're looking at $21,500. And this is coming in every week we're and we're earning big money in fact i'm expecting another 15,000 this week already got another 24,000 lined up in the queue beyond that so it just continues to roll i realize that this is not the most money in the world but it is a lot more than most people earn okay this puts us into what they call the two comma club in fact we just recently applied for the two comma club and expect that award sometime soon so we're going to celebrate that with you i want to go beyond that i want to actually make a video and kind of walk you guys through the exact system that we used that we discovered just a little over a year ago that's producing money like this that could put us into the two comma club. And for those of you that know, don't know, a two comma club means that you're seven figure earner, okay? So I'm very, very proud of that. Now, with that comes the ability to take care of pesky debts. And when I talk about pesky debts, I'm not talking about that standard philosophy of just attacking and eliminating non-mortgage balances or consumer-related debt. I'm talking about paying off the big stuff, like your homes, like this here. So what I wanna do is show you just how quickly this kind of stuff that we've done so effectively, which I'm gonna drop a video about here over the next several days, how that can contribute very positively towards you attacking and eliminating debt. There is one surefire way to pay off debt faster than you could have ever imagined, and it's to make more money than you ever imagined. So let's go ahead and take a look at just how quickly debt can be paid off if you're using some of the money-making techniques that we've been using by relying on tools like debt weapons because we manage our credit so, so well. So let's go ahead and dive into my own personal account here. This is with Mr. Cooper. Mr. Cooper is a mortgage company, which changed their name from Nation Star Mortgage not long ago. I think in order to sound a little more relatable, I think it just sounds ridiculous. But when I log into my account here, you can see the good news. Congratulations, your loan is fully paid off. Now, when I was coming at you guys over the last couple of months worth of videos, you were seeing firsthand just how that mortgage was being reduced. In fact, if you go to my Credit Karma account, you'll even see that it still shows a $148,000 balance uh, through Credit Karma because that's how far ahead I am on the reporting. But yes, indeed, this mortgage has actually been paid. And what I'd like to do is walk you through some of the payments so that you can see exactly how quickly cash flow stacking can take effect. Now, in order for you to understand this as well as possible, I'm gonna go ahead and put a view all showing you all of the payments from this loan from back in 2012. So in 2012, this was an interest only adjustable rate mortgage and it continued to remain an adjustable rate mortgage because I only believe in refinancing loans under very rare circumstances. So even as rates were adjusting upward and our payment continued to go higher, we still planned to attack and eliminate this while still avoiding uh, two to 3% in closing costs by refinancing. So I wanted to avoid a refinance um, and I wanted to just pay it off more quickly uh, so that we didn't have to worry about interest rates. You can see back in 2012, the original loan was coming in at 208, 539 with no principal contribution being made because we were just paying interest. And that allowed us to help manage our cash flow each and every month so that we could invest our money and start making a lot more money, which is as you can see what has happened. And therefore, over every six month period, you can see the interest rates went up, 
therefore the interest costs also went up. Once we got into 2014, you can see our principal contribution started to apply in a fully amortized format. And you can see here that again, every six months as the feds raised rates, our minimum payment obligation would also increase gradually. By the time we got to present day this year, you can see our minimum payment obligations had climbed all the way to $1,716.91. That was for both principal and interest. You can see that split itemized here. On the far right column here, the 464 and 87 cents, that is our escrow payments, okay? And you can see interest is the middle, principal being that far left column. So as we get into the summer of 2018, we had a second mortgage on this investment property. This investment property rents right now for $2,400 per month. The combined total between the first and the second, along with our, intro, our, our escrow contribution of four sixty-four and eighty-seven cents, brought the total payment on this property to just under nineteen hundred, or around eighteen hundred and seventy-five dollars per month. So the cash flow on this property was about five hundred and twenty-five dollars per month. There's very little maintenance that has had to happen on this property over the last 15 years. We are gonna go in and do some serious repairs on this property come springtime. But as of right now, it's a very strong cash flowing property, especially given come uh, the spring and the summer, we were really seeing fairly significant reductions to principal uh, each and every month along with that 525 in cash flow. So collectively, we were seeing almost $1,200 per month in cash flow from this one rental property. And this is why I'm so adamant about rental properties producing a lot of cash flow. It's very important because it takes the risk out of rental. It takes the risk out of rental. Now, when you come into the summer here, we started to attack that second mortgage come June going into July. So we were still just making the principal and interest minimum payment obligation along with our escrows of taxes and insurance each and every month until we got into August. And you can see we always made our payments on the 15th of the month, which was the last day of the month that they would accept payments. This is set up under auto pay before there was a penalty that, that was applied. Now, if we had gone beyond the first of the following month, we would end up with a 30 day late payment on our credit report. So obviously we're intentionally avoiding that while also intentionally avoiding the penalty. And as you can see, come the 27th of August, we made our first additional payment of 17, 16, and 91 cents. That same day, we applied an additional $30,000 of principal to this account. Now, we talk a lot about making lump sum payments via debt weapons. In this case, this was just extra cash flow. Debt weapons ideally are avoided. It would be better to avoid debt weapons than have to rely on them. But if it's the difference between not having an extra $30,000 in cash flow and having to use a debt weapon, that is better than doing nothing at all. So using a debt weapon is much better than the alternative of just simply paying your minimum payment obligation so that you can leapfrog down the amortization schedule. But if you have the cash and you're making a lot of money like we did by building out income streams, which is what I'm demonstrating to you here, uh, then you can just simply apply that extra cash flow and you can see exactly what happens. As we scroll forward by September 5th, just uh, one week or so after we applied $30,000, we applied an additional payment along with another $28,000. By the 7th of September, another 9,244. By the 13th of September, another 5,000. By the 15th, the auto pay had increased yet again because of the interest rate increase. So our new minimum payment obligation grew to $1,820.28 per month or 5.125% interest. So by the 15th, that same day, we also applied another $5,000 along with a $5,000 contribution on the 21st, another $1,820 by the 9th. So if you look at just this one month span, um, you know, we're, we're, we're nearing six figures in principal contribution on this property. By the 9th of October, we applied another 20,000 on top of that minimum payment. We paid a $2,500 amount by the 12th, the 15th of 2722 brought that balance down. It was obvious that we were just doing that to clear off of this change. It's more of an OCD than anything. So it dropped it down to 67,000. You can see we wanted to even that out as well because it's just motivating to do this stuff. So as we're watching that balance decline, we paid it down by another $2,000 to make it an even 65. We paid a $15,000 uh, lump sum on the 27th along with a 10,000 on the 29th. We've got 1820 coming out as a regular monthly payment on the 31st. 
along with another $20,000 lump sum, $15,000 lump sum, $31.79 and $0.72 cent lump sum, all on the third, uh, which did not process here on this last sum until the fifth. So as of today, my bank owes me $60.74 unapplied funds. $60.74, guys, we paid off well over $100,000, almost $150,000 on this property in just the last six or seven weeks. And you can do the exact same thing, okay? When I talk about paying houses off, this is what I'm talking about. I'm taking a, a 2012 mortgage and I'm paying it off by 2018. Don't you guys wanna save 24 years on your mortgages? Of course you do. Don't you wanna be seeing $21,000 mailed to you for services that you believe in, but you don't actually support, you don't actually, you don't actually provide, you don't fulfill? That to me is so special. There are so many uniquely special ways of generating income these days that you just have to put forth the consistent grind and have the grit in order to make sure that it becomes a reality, okay? And there are many, many different ways of doing this. So what's happened here? Well, I just freed up another $1,820 each and every month worth of cash flow. And because of the pace that we're moving with this, it also means that each and every 10 month period, we're gonna be looking at acquiring somewhere in the neighborhood of another half a million dollar property completely free and clear every 10 months. Now that's an average over the next 60 months. So over the next 60 months, we'd like to have six half million dollar properties by which we have $3 million at that point of new real estate investments that are completely free and clear. Now, whether or not we're acquiring over the next 12 months or we wait two years while the downturn is happening is all to be determined. We're always looking for new opportunities. I don't have any problem with buying real estate right now if it produces tremendous cash flow. And when you own it free and clear, that's inevitable. So guys, I want you to get excited. I'm here to help you do something similar with your finances. At least a fraction of this would be incredible, right? What if we, we got you to $10,000 per month in cash flow? What if you didn't have to pay off 50, 60, 70, 100 in a month? What if you paid off an extra $10,000 each month in principle on your existing debts? Would that make a difference in your life? Would that take some of the pressure away from you? Would that take some of the fear out of your mind going into the downturn? Because if I'm in a position of having debt, I'm scared going into the downturn. Why do you think we attacked this with such urgency? Because I think that changes are coming. I don't want debt. If I show you my credit report, which I will do again here soon on an upcoming video, so make sure you become a subscriber if you're not already and plug in each and every time we upload a video because I will walk you through my credit report. I'll show you that I have absolutely zero debt. Credit scores the last time I checked through FICO provided through my Wells Fargo account were an 844. The best credit score you can get is an 850. So if you like the idea of using your credit, leveraging it into extreme amounts of income so that you can have extremely limited, if any debt at all, then you've found the right channel. And we're gonna deep dive into one of my favorite resources for making this kind of money just discovered one summer ago. So about 14, 15 months ago, we stumbled into one of the best resources that has now turned us into seven figures. All right, guys, I can't wait to continue walking you through this. Thank you so much for being a cash flower here in our community. If you're ready to take control of your finances, don't hesitate to jump on the calendar and get your one free coaching session. We do offer everybody here, every audience member, a chance at that. It does require $500 per month in minimum cash flow for us to actually be of enough value to you to make that coaching session worth your time. So make sure that you wait until you have your $500 in cash flow before you schedule. There is a considerable wait for those free coaching sessions right now. So I thank you in advance for your patience. If you do wanna jump the line, don't hesitate. Just go ahead and pick up one of the quick start vacancies and you can pay to get involved. Would you pay six, seven, eight thousand dollars to get a $15,000 check tomorrow? This is not difficult, guys. This is about basic sixth grade returns on investment. Basic math, basic arithmetic that allows us to quantify the value of us partnering together. So don't hesitate to join as a coaching member. And if it's not a fit, we will be sure to refund you your tuition and void the membership. There's no risk involved. So we'll continue to see you on these videos in the meantime, until we have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with you. Make it a great day today and take care. Okay guys, so I always love this time. This is uh, giveaway time. We've got $25 Amazon gift cards that we're giving away all the way until the end of the year. We're doing this once per week. So in order to be an eligible contest 
member, uh, candidate, whatever you want to call it. You got to be a subscriber and you've got to leave comments as well. So this one is going out to Sam Vallejo. Uh, Vallejo. Sorry, Sam, if I'm butchering that last name, this is not my strong suit. Uh, he said, Matthew, I would really like to ask you some questions about what you would like. Uh, he says he wants a one-on-one -on -one conversation if possible. Um, he says he's really in a, a financial situation where he needs the help. He's a husband, a father of three boys. I grew up with two brothers. I, I could certainly empathize with that. And he wants to get out of the gutter, so, so please help. Sam, I tell you what, um, we're going to put the link in the description so you can get on the calendar for your free coaching session. It's freecoachingcalendar.com. And when I see your name come up, I'm going to make sure to carve out my own personal time for that call. And I will be sure to be the one to do that call with you. Make sure you schedule that right away. That link will be in the description below. In the meantime, I want to congratulate you, my friend, because we're going to send you a $25 Amazon gift card. Simply email contest at vipfinancialeducation.com to claim your $25 gift card. So guys, if you want to be eligible, make sure you're a subscriber, make sure you're commenting, make sure you're dropping likes on our videos. And I can't wait to call your name next. Until then, congratulations, Sam.